Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Timberborn. We are checking out the demo version of the game. The full release is coming out sometime soon. If you haven't checked out any of my previous videos on the game, please do. In the last one, we survived our first dry season. Didn't have any of our beavers die, so that was good. And now we're looking to continue to expand our uh, beaver empire and turn it into a thriving city from this little podunk shack here. So uh, my goals for this game is to increase our water production. So I'm thinking I'm going to put one or two water pumps over here and dam the river right here and uh, or maybe right here probably down here more and uh, continue expanding over here into this area which is nice and flat and there's more trees and we can do a lot more things over there as well. So let's go ahead and start by building our water pump. Actually, we're going to have to delete out some of these bushes over here. So let's go ahead and order the destruction of these bushes through here. All right. And then we're going to tear down that tree there so we can build another potato crop field there. And then we're also going to go ahead and order some more trees to be planted right along here. And then let's go ahead and add some more right there as well perfect so our forester will go and start planting more trees so our lumberjacks will have access to ample wood all right so we got that pulled out so let's go ahead and put a potato crop there and then this was ripped down so let's go ahead and build another water pump right here perfect so that will go there um we'll have to rip out one more blueberry bush so we can expand the path around there so let's go ahead and do that and we'll get the path built around there and then we'll go ahead and put in a water tower water storage tank right here so let's rotate that put that right there perfect and then we'll go ahead and also indicate some more trees for wood cutting up here because I think we're going to be running out of timber very very soon so let's make sure this all gets marked so our lumberjacks can use this wood up here all right, there we go. Okay, so that's good, that's good. We are running a little bit, we don't have any logs. We got plenty of planks, food we're doing good on, and water we're doing okay on as well. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we dam right here, because this is a pretty short jaunt. Uh, won't require much lumber to, to be able to dam the river. So let's go ahead and plan that. And we're going to start with a dam, and we will dam it right there. That looks pretty good. All right, so it should be within the construction range. It's saying it isn't. Let's go ahead and add another two builders there. And do we have one beaver lax job? Can't get rid of it. Okay, so we are good there. So everything is now set up. They got this other water pump built. Fantastic. This tank is being worked on. I think we'll also go ahead and add another lumberjack flag up over here. Forester, yeah. So lumberjack flag. Let's just put one right here. Perfect. So then they can they have access to all this lumber to be cut up there as well. We will need to start building some more houses. I would like to get some more verticality to our city because uh, that's kind of the, the interesting aspect, at least in my opinion, for this game. As, as you can see, we got two houses stacked here, two houses stacked here. And I'm pretty sure the we can get up to three or four levels. So I'd like to, to kind of get our housing and some of our other buildings stacked that high, just so we can see it. I think it's a, a pretty cool concept for a game that you can make some pretty tall buildings and each floor has its own, you know, could have its own thing. You know, one floor could be housing, the next floor could be storage, the next floor could be whatever. So excited to keep building our houses up that way. All right, let's also go ahead and put a path into the dam. So we'll do, just do it right along these woods here, like that, perfect. And they can go ahead and start building that path. We're getting some logs to the dam, good. So these trees should start to mature here. So like that one's at 77%, 70%. Um, let me make sure these trees over here are marked. Yep, they can cut those trees down as well. 
So we should have a pretty good flow of logs in. Do we have any lumberjacks over here? Not yet. We might take one builder off. There we go. Um, just to make sure we've got plenty of lumberjacks because now we got three lumberjacks and three builders and that should keep a nice balance. Once we get this dam built, we'll go ahead and probably build another farming house um, just so we have two, or excuse me, two farming houses for farmers to ensure that our crops are being rotated correctly. And I think we'll eventually expand all this into crop or maybe back here, expand that into crop, or maybe we'll put some crops over here since we're expanding our dam this way. Now you can see the water dynamics have changed since this first dam has been built. So you can kind of see it hits and then flows around like that. And the water's kind of flowing better over here anyway. So that's an interesting mechanic for the game as well that the, the dams actually change the water flow be interested to see with how the levees how they change water flow as well so we are getting plenty of logs in there that one's about halfway done and there's a birch tree that had just matured and they cut it down extremely quickly so that is good to see um let's go ahead and have our forester plant just a few more trees right here since we can use this area as well and then we're going to have him go ahead and Make sure this area's got plenty of blueberry bushes. Uh, make sure that's nice and squared off like that. Perfect. Chopping down a lot of trees up here. So we got three logs, some planks, 130 berries, 172 water, and our science is slowly climbing up as well. One beaver has no job. All right, so let's go ahead and add him back as a builder. So we should have four builders now, good. And there's a bunch of birch trees that just matured, so that should get us a lot of logs right there. That will help our construction a lot. How are we doing on the dam? Two dams built, and you can see the water mechanics changed even a little bit more, so now it's kind of swirling around that. You know, we did have a lot more, we're at 21 beavers, so our population is growing. we got to make sure we have plenty of water for the next drought, so I'm thinking we might add at least two more and let's go ahead and add them now probably at least two more water tanks right here so we can pump water and make sure our beavers got plenty of water for the dry season which should be coming up here shortly let's see we got three of the dams done four more to go and look at that water changing like that that's really cool i like that you can see it's also kind of flowing over the top a little bit of this one um but not quite all the way kind of hitting that other side that other corner there Okay, we might put a lumber, yeah, let's go ahead and do, we will plant some trees there, and let's just keep expanding this area for trees to be planted right all along that. Perfect, so that will give our forester something to do. We might put another lumber flag right, I think we're going to put one right there. So let's go ahead and put a lumberjack flag right there. So now we got three spots for lumberjacks. We got the one here, which can kind of help clear this area. We got the one here, which is kind of getting this area. And then this one will help here. And as we expand this way, it can hopefully get over there as well. There we go. Only two more dam spots left. So that's good. And you can really see the water flowing over these now. And it's really being forced around and through this just this one spot. So that's pretty cool water wheel is spinning good let's get a good look at that let's change the camera angle here yeah nice i like that look at that thing spin so i think it's putting out 200 290 horsepower and this is consuming 50 so this this could power a couple of buildings so we shouldn't need to build too many water wheels to start we'll just kind of have to expand the um the shaft along this path like that to be able to to match that all right so we are almost done with the dam still two left and this one's got almost all the logs it needs so that's good still in the wet season our forester seems to have planted all the trees and planted all the bushes so that's good Got 109 food, so we are getting a little low on food. 
I mean, we've got our gatherer that's gathering food. I'm thinking it might be time to build another farmhouse because these potatoes are ripe and ready to go. So let's go ahead and at least put down a farmhouse right here so they can help get these uh, potatoes. And what we'll do is we'll tell one of these to focus on the carrots and one of them to focus on the potatoes. Got 118 food, mainly berries. There we go, our dam is about done. You can see it has closed this off more or less. I think it can sneak through here, it looks like. You can tell the water's flowing over those. Let's, uh, let's get a better camera angle here. There we go. Yeah, you can see the water kind of flowing over some of that there. That's pretty neat. All right, and the dam is done. So now we can cross the river. And it looks like the water level kind of rose back here and went down over here. That's okay. Water wheel's still spinning. Pumps are still pumping. So let's go ahead and look over here. And we'll go ahead and mark these trees to be harvested so our lumberjacks can harvest those as well. All right, select that. And we'll mark all that. Perfect. Get those last ones there. So now we should be able to access those. Let's just see. Yep, our lumberjacks have all of them over there. Good. So if we need more wood, we can hit it up over there. Let's go ahead and add another lumberjack to this lumberjack flag, which it won't let us do, even though one beaver has no job. Hmm. That means he probably lives over in this house and can't quite reach it. That's okay. We probably should start building some housing, and we'll put one. We can put one right here, and that will kind of help reach over here as well. And we've got the... We don't quite have the logs. They still need to be chopped down, but at least we have them ready to go with all of our trees that have been marked and are ready to be chopped down. How's the farmhouse doing? Almost halfway with the farmhouse. A little over halfway now. So I just need a few more logs. What do we need? Nine more logs there. So that's doing good. Still got around 100 food and 90, 193 water. So all of our water tanks are built. Each water tank can hold up to 30 water. So we will watch that as we approach the dry season. Still in the wet season right now, so that's good. Up oh, there it goes, dry season approaching. So that starts day 16 of the cycle. So let's, hopefully we have enough supplies and are able to survive that. We'll see, see how that goes. One building lacks workers, one building lacks materials. So let's see, that's almost done. This farmhouse is now complete. So that means our next two beavers should be able to work there. So we got housing for two more beavers, and they moved in over here. They are age seven and age in days 11. So they're still youngsters, I think, but that's all right. As our beavers age up, they will take these jobs for us. We got two more lumberjacks, or one more lumberjack, two total here now. So we should have at least four beavers focusing on this little area. So we should turn our logs over pretty quickly with our forester replanting as we go. So let's click on one of these on random and see where it's at. So this one's only 6%. Still needs a lot of time, but that's okay. How about these, 75%? All right, all right. So now we need to get two more farmers, which we now have. So let's go ahead and tell these to focus on the taters, and these can focus on the carrots. So now we got two farmers for each crop, and that will help us hopefully turn over our fields a little faster to make sure we've got plenty of food. We got 130 food right now. We got what, uh, 95 berries, 30 carrots, and 15 grilled potatoes. The next crop on the crops to grow um, is the wheat crop, but the, I don't think it's unlocked in the demo. Let me check here, plant crops. No, it's not available in the demo. Um, yeah, there it is, not available in the demo. So that's okay. We will check that out in the full game. We got our house built over here. So I think everyone has housing now. Yeah, 22 and four. So let's see if this spot got filled, not yet. Um, now that we're kind of in a stable area, let's keep expanding. Let's build one more water tank over here. So that'll be four tanks here and four tanks over there. And we can just go ahead and drop that right drop that right there and we'll build a path in front of that. Perfect. And then I also want to go ahead and expand our platforms. 
one there, one there, and one there. And then let's go ahead and put a path under that. Right there, perfect. And then we're going to put a house on top of this. Or a lodge, excuse me. There we go. So that lodge now has access to all of that. And they already got 8 out of the 12. I'm hoping in the full release, or as the game progresses, there's different levels of housing. Um, I mean, the lodges are nice and all, but, you know, if you could add to your, your beaver's comfort or, you know, other things in their well-being. So instead of just having uh, comfort one, or comfort, maybe a comfort one, comfort two, comfort three, so you can continue to, uh, you know, change your housing or have, you know, different levels of society, kind of like the Anno series, make it a little more interesting rather than just having one set of constant, you know, non-changing houses. But, you know, we'll see what the developers do. That's why they have a demo and they'll have an early access so you can, uh, we can give them feedback and they can make changes as they go. All right, dry season is starting. We've got 260, 275 water, 130 some odd food, but we do got a lot of potatoes that need to be harvested. And I don't know why this guy is just standing there. Lives in Wad, works at farmhouse. I mean, it says these uh, potatoes are ready to go. So I wish he'd go, uh, go harvest those. I mean, the carrots, and that guy's just standing there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they can only do so many in a day. Uh, well, we'll have to, to keep an eye on that. I mean, we got all these crops ready to be harvested. And I don't think it's a storage issue. No. Or maybe it is a storage issue. I don't know. Let's, um, let's see if we can build ourselves another small warehouse. Their buildings can be built on top. How many? So it takes two. Um, can we put it right here? Actually, let's put it, let's put it right here. We're going to put it right there and then we'll bring this path. No, because that would block our turning shaft there. That's fine. We'll build it right there. And we can build a path for now and always come back and delete the path if we expand that way more. So let's do that. And then we'll build that right across like that. It's kind of in a weird spot, but whatever. All right, our water wheel's not turning, but as you can see, it is dry season, so the river dried up most of the way there. But since we built this dam, we've got plenty of water along here, and that should keep us nice and hydrated. Looks like down here, some of this dried up, but just that far corner, that's all right. Um, we should have probably built it right there. That might have expanded it, but whatever. We've got ourselves, looks like plenty of water. That it, It's not moving, but we can pump it. We can keep our beavers hydrated. We just can't make any more planks, but it looks like we got 73 planks, so we should be pretty good on that front. So it looks like storage was the issue, so hopefully building this other storehouse will, will help out our beavers. All right, let's go ahead and build, since we've got 90 some odd logs. Uh, one beaver has no job. Let's build another science hut. Well, no, we're doing good on science. All right, let's see what else we can research. Uh, that needs that. Metalworking, wood cutting, gear shop. Crafts gears from planks. Requires power to operate. 120 horsepower. 100 science. So we probably could put a gear shop right here and run our shaft there. Let's look at what else we could do. Could unlock the levee. We could unlock the explosives factory. But we need gears for that, so let's not even think about that. We could unlock the higher platforms if we wanted. Uh, large warehouse, no. Labor, we could build the builder's hut, but I don't think we're building big enough for a builder's hut. Uh, irrigation tower, irrigates land around it. Maybe. No need for the bakery or the grist mill since we're not going to be doing anything like that. Gear shop might be our next purchase. Paper mill, we don't need that quite yet. Metal working, we could, we'll need gears for that. Power, won't affect any of us yet. Leisure, let's look at the temple. 120 logs, yeah, let's go ahead and um, we'll save up for the temple. We only need a little bit more science. We're at 265 and what does that say? We need 300. Yeah, let's save up for the temple. 
uh, cause that will give them a bonus for comfort. Uh, satisfies aesthetics, bench, gabled roof. We don't need any of that. Monuments, 1000 science for the labor monument. Mm, that's still a little too much. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save up our science. And I actually think we will build another uh, inventor's hut just so we can continue to produce more science. And we got plenty of logs and got a couple of beavers with no jobs. So that will give us something to do with all of that. Let's see how we doing on food. 280 food. So yeah, definitely building this other warehouse helped us out a lot. And building this dam. Building this dam is probably the best thing we've done so far today to make sure we're keeping everything nice and watered. I'd be interested to see is as we pump water out of our little reservoir, is this going to eventually run out or is it kind of infinite? Um, I don't know, we'll have to see. We will have to see. All right, one building lacks power, yep, that. And one beaver has no job. Can we increase the number of inventors? No, we can't. Um, we've got full farmers there, full farmers there. Um, Let's go ahead and wait it out so we can get the temple. I think we're going to put the temple right right here because it should cover a lot of the homes. We got a home here, home there, a lot of our homes over there. So that will give us a nice wide spread or a wide reach. Looks like we're only about a quarter of the way, maybe a third of the way done with the dry season. So we still got a lot of time, but we are in pretty good shape so far, knock on wood. 300, there we go, we just hit 300 science. So let's go to leisure and we're going to unlock the, oh, it is not available in the demo, interesting, okay. So that does us no good. So let's go to the gear workshop and unlock that. Yes, we will unlock the gear workshop and let's go ahead and put that Oh, perfect, we can put that right there. And we don't even have to build any more of the crankshafts to reach it. We'll just have to build a little extra path right in front of it. So let's go ahead and do that there. And then since we can't unlock the temple, let's go ahead and unlock, I guess, the, the shrub. Sure, and we'll put a shrub there, get a little, little decoration in there. And we'll put a shrub there as well. Um, I guess let's go ahead and decorate the colony. Put some shrubs in there. And we'll put a shrub in right there. All right, so how much, I guess I should have seen what a, a shrub costs us. 12 logs, all right, that's fine. We got plenty of logs to go around. So that is improving the uh, aesthetics of the area. Satisfies aesthetics in a three tile radius. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So it takes eight planks to produce gears. I'm assuming it's a one-to-one -one ratio, um, but since we don't have flowing water and we won't have it for a little bit more, we won't be, able to, won't be able to produce any gears, that's okay. Still have one jobless beaver. Um, let's see if we can put him to work with, um, what could we have him do? Uh, labor monument, no. Da -da -dum. Da -da 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 -da. We could put him in this power wheel, um, which if we built it here, then we could build that T-junction and yeah, let's build this here and we'll put a path in front of that like that. And then we will also build Let's see, here we go, T-junction. So we want our T-junction to face this way. So we'll put that there, and then we just need a straight shaft right there. So now we have that set up so that when this all gets built, the guy on the running wheel should be able to hopefully power these two. I don't know how much, uh, it only puts out 50, so he'll only be able to power the lumber mill. So I think the gear workshop requires 120. Yep, 120. So that won't work for him. That's okay. At least we'll have the ability for our uh, lumber mill to produce. So let's get a good shot of this beaver. Oops. 
here we go. Here's a good shot of him running on that little wheel. How cool is that? A little uh, manual labor to keep everything running. Very nice. I think that's cool that, you know, in the dry season, you can still have the ability to produce power. What we might do is delete some of this out and put in another, what would we need? If this needs 120 and this is 50, that's 50. So we would need three more wheels along here uh, to power everything up. But if we did it right, we could shaft to, yeah, we would have enough room to build the, the three wheels here, delete out this path and then um, have them power that that way. Now I did see something about a high shaft. Hmm, transfers power. I wonder if we could build over the path or have the path. What we could do is delete it out, put stairs, you know, a little uh, raised platform and then stairs right down. Hmm, no, if we were up one, we could do that. Eh, whatever, we'll just delete this all out and build a nice little um, power shaft, if you will, along here. Well, no, we could still do that. If we delete, delete, Hmm, maybe not. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm crazy. But we will still delete these paths out and go ahead and build these power wheels in and get this to the amount of power needed. But see, now he's going ahead and crafting. So he is crafting with a minimum amount of power. All right, so maybe we don't have to do that. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Let's see. Because it says we've got gears. We've got three gears. So is it not a constant need for power? That's what it is. It's not constant. So it must require 120 horsepower to produce a gear in total. So if it's putting in 35 each turn, so that means it takes one, two, three, four turns to produce it. I see. Okay. So it's not constant. It's um, a total. So that's, that's how we're still producing gears, even though we don't have the 100 and... Uh, 20 needed horsepower. I see. Okay, so we're actually just gonna leave that like that. No need to mess with it um, You know, maybe as we expand we'll change it, but I think right now we just leave it. Oh, our all of our water just dried up Okay So even with that dam in place We will not have infinite water it looks like at about 60% of the dry season it dried up But that is good. We were able to go a little bit longer than the entire dry season without water looks like did it there's only just a little touch of water down here if we really needed it, but we can't even get to that. So that's uh, that's good to know. And we've got 226 water, plenty of food. So I think it might not hurt after this dry season to probably put a couple more water tanks in or if we could research the large water tank is not available in the demo. Okay, so we're not gonna be researching the large water tank. Um, so let's go ahead and build two more small little water tanks here. Now, obviously we won't be able to fill those, but we will have them ready for next year. So let's, uh, let's unlock the double platform. Nice. And is the triple platform, it's not available in the demo. That is okay. So let's just take a peek at the double platform. Okay. So it is, it is double like it says. So if we put this here, yeah, that should be the same level as that. All right. So we could put this here and here and then build a stairs here. If we put that there. All right, we're going to get a three stack high house. That's my goal here. And we'll put stairs. Let's rotate that into place just like that. And then we're gonna put a house, or excuse me, a lodge, because I want this to be three stories. All right, so now we just gotta build it. How cool is this? We're gonna have a three-story building here. Let's get the camera adjusted a little bit. Oh, that's really neat, look at that. There we go, a three-story lodge for our beavers, for our 32 beavers. Very e nice indeed. I think this is the coolest aspect of the game. The main reason why I'm checking out, let's get a check or let's get a look at the structure there. So that's the double platform with a single platform on top. Let's see who the lucky people are living all the way up. We got two beavers in there. All right, seven beavers don't have jobs. So we're gonna need to expand our jobs. 
which probably means we need to start thinking about expanding our crops as well. We are at 30 minutes played. That's okay. Let's go ahead and finish out the dry season here. Let's see what else. Let's go ahead and look at, can we unlock the benches? Yeah, let's go ahead and unlock the benches. We'll put a few benches in too. All right, bench. And let's put a bench. We'll put a bench right here. Put one here and we'll put one there. So now we'll have some benches over here next to our, our shrubs. There we go. Let's click on the bench. A place for beavers to sit. Oh, how nice. All right, so we got two benches there, and there you can see the beavers taking a little rest. Let's get a better view of that. There they are, taking a nice little rest. I think we might need to build another campfire here soon, just because we've got, what, 31 beavers, and we need to make sure we're providing plenty of social space for them. So let's build that campfire over... Well, if we decide to put power there, no, we're not going to put power there. All right, let's go ahead and leisure. We'll build another campfire right here so they will have a nice little place to sit down and rest. We are at an average well-being of seven, so we're satisfying hunger, thirst, sleep, social life, but we'll be fixing that with the new campfire here soon. Most of our nutrition is one and two, comfort. Um, we need to probably build some more housing and aesthetics is almost all the way up as well. So with building this new campfire, that should help with social. There we go. They're taking a nice seat and it satisfies social life. So now we have 10 spots for social excited though for the release. So we can build that temple and then there's a carousel. Um, and I've seen that in some of the videos and that's pretty cool to see the beavers sit and spin around. It looks like an egg scrambler type thing. Okay, so that campfire is built. Dry season looks like we're almost there. Almost there indeed we are. Ooh, that was our last water. So we'll need to make sure. Let's go ahead and build another water pump here. Just so we're ready for when the, the next dry season. Let's go ahead, put that path in. Do, do, like that, perfect. And then we will make sure we have... Oh, congratulations, under your command... Uh, the beavers survived the dry season twice. Yes, we did. This is where the demo ends. It's a taste of what Timberborn is going to be. The full game will have expanded factions, bigger and more advanced cities, and other exciting new features. All right, so that is pretty cool. We were able to survive another dry season, and this is where it's going to kick us out. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us in Timberborn. Don't forget to like the video, comment on what your thoughts are on Timberborn and what you hope to see in the future of the game. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.